This is Vanessa Joy with Adorama TV, and today we are going to talk about video consults, meeting with your clients via Skype, like I'm talking to you right now. Hi, this is Vanessa Joy with Adorama TV, and I am here with Michael Anthony, who is also a fellow educator and photographer, and his gorgeous wife, Jennifer. So hey guys, how you doing? Hey Vanessa. And they're hey. they're going to be my pseudo couple today, so I can talk to you guys about how I do consultations with my clients. And this is great because these two are also a wedding photography team, so they're gonna interject maybe like the West Coast version because you guys are in LA while I am in New Jersey. So we might have some differences here. So yep. yeah, specifically I wanted to talk about video conferencing because more and more now I'm Skyping or I'm doing FaceTime or Google Hangout with my clients from the second I meet them to even going and picking out a wedding album sometimes. So times are changing when before we would always want them to come in and meet with us and which is great when they can, you know, smell, look, touch, feel everything but now it's not always possible. So first off, I prefer actually to do Skype because then I don't have to clean my house because I do have a home studio. Are you guys working out of your home? No, no, we have an office, but uh, the time definitely, it does benefit us to Skype because we get to save a lot of time. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, it does save a lot of time, which it, which is nice. So, and then also I phrase it as like a convenience thing to my clients. A lot of my clients are in Manhattan and where my studio is, it's just not easy to get to. And I know in LA traffic yeah. is a, is a big deal. Yeah. So yeah, we're in the Northern part of the County. So pretty much, uh, any time clients coming to see it, probably a 45 minute to an hour drive minimum. Yeah. And that's no fun. So, so first off, when you're consulting or getting ready for an appointment with your clients, you know, tell them, Hey, this is an added benefit that I will meet with you via Skype. Um, second of all, when you're doing it, try to have good lighting. We're all lit pretty well. I do it on purpose. I don't know if you guys do it on purpose. Make sure you're lit. So you look yeah, good. Yeah. Light right here. Yeah. See, you're using the ice light. Nice. <laughs> the other nice thing, which I'll click over, you guys can see that I use is I actually have um, 17 hats pulled up here. So I use my notes section of 17 hats, maybe type a few things that I learned about the clients, which is actually what we're getting to. And what I really want to talk to you about is how to communicate with clients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend like you guys are clients. And my goal is, you know, I want to talk about the wedding. I want to talk about my photography, but I want to find some way to connect with you guys. So it's not just about the wedding and about the photography because it's really about how they feel and I want to make them feel like they connect it with me. So I'll start off with a small talk. How, how do you guys get engaged? Go ahead. Tell the story. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, he proposed on my birthday and he created a website for me, um, which is kind of nerdy, but really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. You want to add anything to that? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was about, um, 95 degrees in the middle of August and I was wearing a, uh, a big black jacket because I was trying to hide the ring in my pocket. So I was trying not to sweat um, because I was nervous and hot at the same time. And, um, you know, eventually it ended up uh, it ended up working out. So she said yes. And, here, you know, here we are today. Oh, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember, Jen, anything about it? Or is it just a whole blur glaze? Well, it was my birthday and I had a drink, so it's kind of like a blur. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get her to sit to you. You get her drunk first. <laughs> yep, yep. I think, you know, it's funny. I always say that most of the time, either we know we're getting proposed to, so we ruin the surprise, or we end up just not, just blanking. It's like, oh my God, yeah. this is happening yeah. right now. We're, so where are you guys from? How did you meet? Uh, we used to work together. Um, I worked at a, a car dealership, and Jen came to work there for the summertime. Her sister and I were coworkers, and uh, and she introduced us. Oh, nice! And how long were you guys together? Uh, it was about uh, four years before um, I proposed. Oh, nice! Awesome! I see you have a wine glass back there. Do you guys like wine? Yes. We have wine glass back there. Yeah, there is a wine glass back there. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. My husband and I, my husband and I, we actually make wine together. So that's, uh, that uh -huh. is something fun that we have in common and right there. So that's exactly what I was going for. I didn't find particularly something I could jump off of with your conversations. So I started looking around your apartment. I'm like, Oh, wine glass, we can talk about wine together. <laughs> so when, <laughs> when I start talking, you know, small talk with my clients, I am interested. I do want to hear what they have to say, but really all I'm looking for is that little nugget where I can start talking about something else. I want to go on a tangent 
about something else because that's going to help me connect with them a little bit more. What about you guys? What do you do when you meet with your clients and your brides? What are, what are your goals? Yeah, so I think like you touched on, building rapport is really, really important. I mean, you have to find common ground. You have to you have to find something in common. And, um, and really, even before you get into talking about uh, or before we get into talking about what we can do for them, I want to get to know them a little bit better. Uh, when I used to be in sales, I used to, to teach us that, um, you know, listening, the people who listen more tend to be more successful in sales. And I found that to be true uh, over the years. Oh, perfect. So thank you guys so much for your input and thank you for being my couple. I hope that was helpful to you guys out there at the Adorama TV channel. Um, as far as what goes on after this, the rest of it is just talking about the wedding and then I'll show them my pricing. Um, and I do show my pricing online so they don't have to download anything. It's a link. Really easy. My clients love video conferencing and uh, hopefully it'll work for you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there somewhere on the bottom so you don't miss a thing here with Read Your Passion on Adorama TV. See you next time.